Hello everybody, I'm Pat Sherwood. Welcome inside the CrossFit Update Studios for our road to the Invitational. Today I have James Newberry joining me. He went to the Games 2017 as a rookie where he took 27th place. This year he was going to join the Invitational team for the Pacific as their coach. However, things have changed. James, thank you very much. I know it's early out there in Australia, so thanks for getting up and doing this interview. Yeah, no problem. My pleasure. So I'm not exactly sure when this is going to get posted to our YouTube channels and other platforms, but right now the CrossFit community is reeling from the recent news that Ricky Garrard, who took third place at the Games this year, just got popped for performance-enhancing drugs. He's being stripped of those medals, accolades, and achievements. He was going to be on the Pacific team. That's now changing, and you have to go from being coach to now coach and athlete. How's the training been going? Are you ready to step on the field and now compete? Oh man! As soon as I, uh, as soon as I sort of heard what was happening and uh, and I uh, got the email, I was sort of like a bit nervous at the same time. Uh, right. The email sort of right. read somewhat like, "Are you fit and healthy to compete?" And I said. I will be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna um, so I'll make it happen. I'll make it happen. Like what, whatever it, or what it, whatever it takes to to be ready to not let the team down. So yeah, I uh, I got the email. I got on my bike and rode into the gym and and hit a couple of metcons. So I'm gonna be <laughs> blowing out some cobwebs. Being an athlete on an invitational team is challenging enough, stressful enough. Being the coach is stressful enough. You're gonna have to do both at the same time. How in the world do you plan on pulling that off? In the past, I've always like so. From prior to doing CrossFit, I competed. Um, I was playing rugby league, so um, having a, and I captained a lot of the teams that I that I played with. So having to play and having to captain, um, I guess you could sort of like uh, sort of mix the two together in sort of a, a coaching role when you're on the field. That's sort of like what the coach wants you to do is be out there to to help the people out. So talking a lot and things like that comes naturally to me. I'm sort of, I'm really happy to take on the challenge and hey, Froning did it last year, so might as well give it a crack. For better, for worse right now, a lot of eyes in the CrossFit community out there in the Pacific region, looking at Australia because of what happened to Gerard. Changes last minute here. How does this affect the team's chemistry? Um, I guess uh, what the team can sort of think about and I guess only focus on is last year we went into um, the Invitational um, and we were like we're very well prepared like I know Rob, Tia and Kara very well um, and they've all been competing together for years as well so um, I think we'll get into a really nice flow. Um, I think the chemistry between us last year was really good um, and I think that we were sort of just in certain circumstances um, at the Invitational, like a couple of slip-ups here, um, maybe us boys not being as strong as some of the other guys and the other, other teams, but the girls doing extremely well. Um, I think we lost a few points here and there, but I think it was still close in the end, and I think this year, like being on home ground, I reckon we can really give it a nudge. The Pacific team has never won the Invitational. A lot of enthusiasm, people love following you guys, but it's just fallen a bit short. Why can it be different this year? Um, I think uh, building on the back of uh, the 2016 Invitational and, and our performance out there, we get really fired up for this event. It's, and I've said it in the past, and, and the other my teammates have said it too. It's like the like one of the most fun events you can possibly be involved in. So we just get fired up. We have a good time, and we sort of we do a lot of bonding. Like it, that, we do train when we when we're getting prepped as a team, but it's more about getting to know each other better so when we're out in the field like you you want to you want to work for your teammate you want to hurt for them and it's not about you you want to hurt for them and make sure you don't let them down so I think building on the back of last year I think we'll be just that uh, you know that just uh, one step better in, the, in being a in being a tight knit team well I hope you can carry that momentum and energy from last year take the recent events that are going on with Garrard and spin it in a very positive way and have a great outcome for the Pacific team. So thanks for joining us so early, James. We wish you guys nothing but the best. Thank you so much for having me. Absolute pleasure. That was James Newberry. He is the coach of the Pacific team at the CrossFit Invitational. That event will take place on November 5th in Melbourne, Australia. Home field advantage for the Aussies. So maybe this year they can punch themselves into the top two and maybe even get a win.